Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ritesh and I shared a short video of this fidget spinner yesterday on the channel. So I thought I should share a full version of this tutorial. And today in this video, we are going to model this uh, spinner. So I'm going to start with the centerpiece of this model. And for that, I'm going to take a cylinder and turn down my subdivision axis to 12 or you can keep it 14 or 16 but I think keeping a low poly count would help managing better the mesh flow and now I'm going to delete the rest of this cylinder except for the faces on the front and I'm going to create duplicates and place them here go to wireframe mode and align this cylinder with this part I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and place like this and now we can create duplicate and place on other two parts of the spinner like this And now I'm going to select everything and combine. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select one of the cylinders and extrude this part like this. And I'm going to repeat the same thing with other two cylinders. Like this and now i'm going to go to vertex mode and use target weld tool and connect these vertices like this and now i'm going to select these three extrude like this again use target weld and merge this vertex here and this one here go to wireframe mode and manage the vertices like this and i'm going to repeat the same thing here so select these three edges extrude Go to vertex mode, take target weld and connect these vertices here. And one last time. With this part, again use target weld connect the vertices go to wireframe mode and place them here on the edge just maintain this curve and now we can delete the center part you can also select this go to edit mesh and use circularize so that we have a pretty good circular shape in the middle and now what we are going to do here is We're going to select the cylinders in the middle of these three parts and I'm going to delete them. Then we're going to have to extrude the entire thing. Like this. And I'm going to select the outer edge ring. Select similar. To select on the back
So make sure everything is selected. And now we can bevel this. And for the inside ring of these three parts, I'm going to select all of them. Except for the middle one. And again, bevel. Turn down the friction and I'm going to turn the chamfer off, which will add one edge in the middle of it. And now we can select the center edge. and bevel so now if you smooth it you'll have a perfect shape of this spinner and now we can model the internal part of these three rings and for that what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pipe and place it here again I'm going to change the subdivision axis to 12 and increase the radius like this and I'm going to change the thickness till here and add one subdivision in the cap And now what we are going to do here is I'm going to isolate it and we need to separate this. So I'm going to select these faces and extract and now I'll isolate this one and now we can select this entire thing. I think we missed few faces at the back and extract I'm going to select isolate it and I'm going to select these two rings and bridge twist fix the rotation bring other thing back and I'm going to repeat the same thing with this bridge change the direction So let's select this and I'm going to go to edge mode. 
select similar and we are going to bevel this add a bit of friction turn the chamfer off and for this one what i'm going to do here is i'm going to go to face mode select the face extrude and add some offset like this and now we can select the edge rings to add supporting edges so i'm going to bevel them turn the chamfer off turn down the friction and let's see if it works all right so everything is looking pretty good I'm going to move this a little bit and make it a little bit bigger so everything looks nice and now what we can do is you can select these two create duplicates and place them here on the other two parts And for the center part, I'm going to take a cylinder, rotate it and change the subdivision axis and radius. Let's go to left view, wireframe mode and I'm going to align the vertices here to both points and now we can scale this up a little bit or what we can do here is I'm going to select the edges on both sides. So let's select the faces on both sides and extrude then add a bit of offset and now I'm going to isolate this and bevel with chamfer off and I think this would be better i think we have some issues here so i'm going to move these vertices here a little bit and these ones here to align with the middle shape Alright, so everything looks good. 
I'm going to select everything, go to edit, delete by type history. And now we can assign some materials and render this part. So I'm going to start with the material. So for the body, I'm going to assign material. Let's go to Arnold. And I'm going to take this green material. We'll change all the other parameters later. And for the center piece, I'm going to assign the same material. And for the outer rings, I'm going to take a new one and I'm going to make them dark and these ones maybe a little bit grayish let's hide the reference image and I'm going to select these put them in a group and let's create a camera i'm going to change the focal length to 50. let's change the render system and i'm going to change the image size to 1080p So let's lock the camera and now we can work freely in the perspective. So for the perspective, I'm going to take an area light. And turn off normalize. Now let's go to Arnold and render. Let's see how it looks and I'm going to increase the intensity to something like 4 and now we can maybe add few more lights so i'm going to go to top view change the pivot to the center of this spinner and let's create duplicates place that one here modify center pivot and i'm going to rotate it like this and again this one center pivot so let's select the material and go to material attribute I'm going to make this metallic so I'm going to turn the metal all the way to 1 and change the roughness a little keep the roughness 0 0.4 and same thing I'm going to repeat for 
all the other parts i'm also going to make them metallic maybe keep the roughness a little bit lower for these parts and same for for this last one and for the background what i'm going to do here is i'm going to take let's say a cube and to light up the background i'm going to go to arnold light and sky dome and i'm going to use an hdri image so let's go in the file and i'm going to paste here like this and maybe we can assign a material on the background and you can change it to anything you like And you can also go to add image and use a denoiser to remove the noise from your renders. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.